is ticking for lawmakers in Sacramento to agree on a key piece of legislation. It's in response to the state's rampant and extreme wildfires, and Makovic is here to explain it all. Well, this is obviously a huge public safety issue, and there is a lot of money at stake. So the question right now is who should be paying for wildfire safety measures, utility rate payers like you and me, or the shareholders of a utility company? The deadline to submit a bill for public review on this is tonight. The way it is right now, you Utility companies are held entirely liable for fires started by their equipment, even if they followed all safety standards. For companies like PG&E, this is a multi-billion dollar debate as it faces lawsuits from last year's wine country wildfires. One option lawmakers have discussed is to allow power companies to sell bonds to pay off wildfire-related debts and, and pass along the cost as a surcharge on utility bills. Lawmakers released a 72-page draft bill last Last night that addresses that, as well as new regulations for removing fire-prone trees and brush. As one senator said, this is a challenge that needs to be addressed because it is not going away. This is really, uh, in many respects, about the safety and the future of California. Uh, because fires have been burning and will continue to burn all over the state, in the rural areas, in the urban areas. So the main sticking point is how much to ease the financial impact to utility companies for fires involving their equipment. Lobbyists and lawmakers are concerned that investor-owned companies like PG&E could be at risk of bankruptcy if no action is taken. Others call it a corporate bailout. If a bill is officially on the table by the end of tonight, it must then pass through both the Assembly and the Senate by Friday, which is the end of the legislative session, Michelle.